Yes, yes, this is a man called Trumpo. One. Oh, simple. Ah, mm, ah, mm. Kwan, you are watching Mensa TV. Mensa TV. Fie bia Mensa ho. Mensa TV. Fie bia Mensa ho. Mensa TV. Fie bia Mensa ho. Minya mimi fie. Simple. Mensa TV, welcome to Mensa Radio. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, how is the music business doing? Um, by the grace of God, we are only small small. It's amazing to know that you are on. Um, um, for people who are actually hearing for the very first time on Mensa Radio, I want you to actually say something a little about yourself. Okay, Minister KB. Minister KB, my full name is Abeniza Sophie Kosibia. That's what I just shot in to be KD. Okay. So the K is the Chrissy, the D is the Dia, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the, another E is the Beniza, another E is the Sophie. So that's why we are putting the KD. Okay. Well, um, I was born in Accra, and I'm from Western region called Wasi Nasi. I also attend the Redeem Christian Church of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I'm a minister of God. Yeah. For people who have actually um, followed Ghana's um, gospel music industry for a while now, uh, um, will know that you are actually doing amazingly well. Yeah. But for people who have actually um, heard your profile for the very first time, which um, what kind of inspiration are you specialized in? So, you know, people actually say I'm a worshiper, others will say I'm a praise leader, um, others say I'm a worshiper, others will say I do all around. Um, do you put yourself in a box or when it comes to gospel, you are all around? Um, let me say this. Um, I see myself as a youth. I'm a youth. Okay. So, um, I know where I'm coming from, you know, I was from this kind of. Anyway, I was a believer before I became a believer, so I know where I was from, and God have brought me. And I'm a gospel musician, mm. as well as as a minister. But mm. I do the gospel in all round that I can do. Um, that's a Afro pop, reggae, high life, worship like in, in all star in gospel okay yeah okay i'll need you to speak up a bit for me um people um before i ask this question i want to know um are you doing this full time or it's, it's actually a part-time for you oh well it is it's a part-time for now but you are just arranging things that when okay it could become a full okay i mean some musicians actually speculate that um if you do music for full time, it, it, it isn't prudent. What is your take on that issue? Okay, it it depends. Before you want to you want to do a full like, as you just said, mm -hmm. you need to have a foundation. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not easy that to, to even to be a musician. It's not easy. You need to have a backing and stuff, and then so you don't have anything, and you, you just want to be a, a musician is not easy yeah <laughs> i see all right okay um let's go back to 2020 um 2022 okay um how has the year been for you as a gospel minister 2022 well by the grace of god it was so awesome for me um because that was a season that i released that's on my first track and also, I release it worship, so too. And God being so good, uh, when it was out, people was amazing, uh, like amazed of the song. And uh, I know some people that they told me that they are even touched when they heard the words in the song. They, 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 they got to remember where they are coming from and where God have what brought them so you know people call me it's not that the youth even an elderly people call me calling me and blessing me 
that God bless you. We pray for more and stuff. And then, so uh, it was so amazing. I see. So fast forward 2023, um, we are about three weeks into the year. Um, how do you actually um, see or um, think the year is going to be comparing to last year? Um, the kind of works for you personally um, as a gospel minister? Okay. Okay, for this year, it will be so, 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 so awesome because um, there are more, 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 more things to come. Uh, this is the, the little one that I just dropped, but the one that God have. There are more to hear, people to hear what God has given to me, and it will be a blessing unto them. Yeah. So, for how long have you been doing music? No. Um, I would say that um, for me being uh, like recording, I would say that um, that's uh, because in school time we're just trying to do really stuff. So, uh, so professionally, let me say that it's it's 2009, 2009, we have. Uh, that's about uh, 13 to 14 years now. 2009. Hey, 2019. 19. Okay, so about four, four years. years. Yeah, yeah. I I I drop. We like that's I drop a, a song with my my mate. Like mm-hmm. that's chosen generation. Remember your creator is on yeah, audio mark and stuff. That was then released and it also even what minister into like churches and stuff and there. So that was then then later on. Um, they all went to school, so I need, I became on my own, and I released this one. So at least, you know I'm saying, at that time, I was just ministering in you know churches, you know preparing myself to be a heart. So let me say that from that moment, yeah. Mm-hmm. You have actually given us some insight, but I would actually want to know how exactly you started as a, a musician. Um, like people usually see as a singer from church and all that. How was yours specific? Okay, for me, uh, is is I saw it is a is something that God has given to me because for my childhood I I, I was not singing, mm-hmm. even to um let me see fourteen that age I was not singing even my Jesus level I was not singing mm-hmm. it was um. We we went for uh, a youth camp at East Legon, um, East Legon University of Ghana. Okay. That's the uh, Royal Royal House Chapel, Royal House Chapel. So there was an, uh, a, a youth camp we were there, and one there was one guy was singing on the stage, and. The guy sang to the stand that I was crying. I've never felt that thing before. So I asked myself that God, if you can use you can use this man for him to sing and for me to cry, then God you can use me. What I just heard that if you can only give all of you to me than you too. That's why I got to experience. I was, I'll be there. My first song that I made, it's not even out. I got it from the Bible. Mm-hmm. So I started that one when I was in SS1. Okay. That was with one of my friends. He's now in the studio. So we started that. That was then, I got a song. I'll come and sing. People will say that, I ah, someone's song. Mm-hmm. So when I got to hear that someone's song, I'm, I'm really amazed because if I can sing a song, that belongs to you. Belong to me, and you are thinking that I. People were saying that you cannot sing this song. It's someone's song that you are singing. So, from the beginning, I was getting bored. But later, on, somebody told me that don't get bored. Be happy of that. If you can sing, and someone is telling you the song that God have given to you, and people are saying that it's someone's song, be happy. Then you are doing what the song is what is good. So that was then way back from SS that I the, the gift was there so i pushed it very well when i completed that shs that i devoted my time let me say for two years for god i was just giving myself you know rehearsing and stuff and then 
So that was then that people came to know me. Then I was going for programs. So who or what keeps you going? That's God. That's God. God and the Spirit of God leading me. God is, 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 is your inspiration. Yeah. I see. People actually um, talk about um, gospel musicians collaborating with um, other genres of music. Uh, like you have a gospel musician collaborating with maybe a highlight musician. I mean, the conversation has been there for long. What is your take on that? Well, uh, <laughs> for me, it depends on the the person, and also it is not it's not that bad to me. Mm-hmm. It's not that bad to me if you are coll- collaborating with you know high life or whatever, and uh, the spirit lead you that oh, just do with this person. You can even see that even even the gospel musician is not all of us that we are doing that collab especially in Ghana we don't the gospel musician does not do collab but why do you think that particular thing is, is so I mean prevalent do you know something there the, the, the are some there the are this thing that I always see in Ghana gospel artists some of us some of us see ourselves we are international these people are local so they can't mingle with the local people when they when they see this they, when you see this people are ah, this people are international so you move with the international collabo and the local people say ah this people are too new so do. but when you when you check nigeria they don't do that okay okay all right so um let's move to Diana. is is that is that your first um single yes okay. Diana is the first single the first single so how many um of them you have officially on the market well, um, then in now is the first I have, I've done it worship also to and also there's another meddling which is also um, coming out that's a worship meddling mm-hmm. yeah and from there mm, another one also to come so how did you actually um, get to write uh, you know, how was the inspiration? Where were you right then? How did they come up? I mean, how, how, how did you get to write that song? That song, I was in, that song came when I was in SHS. Mm-hmm. So, it came when I was desperate to see God. I was very, very desperate to see God. And, you know, it's not easy to see a youth being a desperate to worship God. So I devoted my time with the Bible. When it's come, mostly my song come when I'm in a quiet place with God. Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. it comes. Like and and I've got to see that some comes and like what the words that I'm saying now it's now that I'm experiencing those things. I don't know whether you get me. So it comes sometimes it comes when I'm quiet with God. Sometimes to you know, I'm I just see something on the road. Something just happened. It can give me a song. I see. So when it came, how has acceptance been um, on the market? How is it doing? Okay, I was just saying that you know, people calling me. It's not that yeah. Some people called me, and you know. One thing that have made me very very happy is that it's not other people, grown up people. Mm-hmm. When they call me, they bless me. You go for my son. You go for my daughter. You my my son. My the, 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 a woman. You know they'll call me. You go for my son. You go for. I bless you. This song has really touched my heart. You know, there's one man that listened to. He said, "I cried. I cried after listening to the music. I saw myself weeping." Talking about going far, how far do you see yourself? Um, probably in the next uh, five minutes. Um, five, five years. years. Yeah. By the grace of God, God has made me know that I'll go outside the country. Okay. The song, Going Outside the Country, He has made me know that it will go. So I know that what he has given to me is so so powerful sometimes when i'm there to see the first sight the things that god have been showing me that wow 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 okay 
And then, are you under any management now? For now, no, I'm just managing myself. Okay, I see. And then, I guess you are available for shows and all that. Yes, please. Okay, so um, you would actually give us your contact information, um, how people can reach you to book you and all that. And you also um, give us uh, the platforms which your songs are available on for people to actually um, to do the streaming. Okay, okay, okay. So for my contact, that's zero is also on WhatsApp line. Okay. Zero five seven three six one five four zero 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 five seven three six one five four zero zero. And also to to get my song on the social platform that's you can get this audio mark. Uh you just search minister kd then in uh you get it from there spotify denzel uh, uh audio mark um youtube um these are these are okay you get you get that's minister the minister as usual minister and the kd is capital and the k d e e k d e e KD. All right, I see. It has been an amazing time with you, right, your Mr. Ray. Thanks for coming. Thank you, sir. But before you go, um, you would actually have to um, give some um, well wishes to your family, friends, probably your fans, and your message to Ghanaians and the world at large. Okay. I want to um, greet all my fans out there and also thank um my pastor pastor do two pastor do two akinsonia the redeemed christian church of god testimony parish kaswa um Nenyano. and also to um to all my team brother john um daniel 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 and also to gabriel as also and to my family the support and also to my mother and uh, all my mothers to know i don't if i try to mention one i'll leave one <laughs> and on my father's too yeah all right so So that was Minister KD. Amazing Minister of God. Just follow him up on all social media platforms. As he made mention, Minister underscore KD. Link up with him. and get to enjoy more of his songs he's also available for shows so link him up anytime you think about a celebration and party he's available do stream his songs as well on all music streaming platforms and also write your on Men's Sound Radio. So this has been a little quick interviews right here with me quick comments and my guest today was Mr. KD. Producer was Hero. A big thank you to CKN Construction Limited. Um, if you are actually thinking of um, completing your building projects and uh, also getting um, some blocks in desperate need of blocks um, to complete your building project just link up with CKN Construction Limited and uh, they're going to do an amazing work for you um, thank you for tuning in to all those who tune in and listen to us Men's Up Radio, let's go into this 
Yes, yes, this is a man called Trump. One, oh, simple. Ah, mm, ah, mm. Kwan, you are watching Mensa TV. Mensa TV. Fie bia Mensa ho. Mensa TV. Fie bia Mensa ho. Mensa TV. Fie bia.